it hurt me to wake up and see my beautiful black people suffer, victimized by the oppressive harsh realities of the hood. I guess even though we were free, we were still slaves in the mind. Message! Mayor Adams vowing to be the best mayor ever for the LGBTQ community. He made that promise tonight at a Pride Month reception at Gracie Mansion. But there are skeptics. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has a story, and it's new tonight. What to do, YouTube? It's your boy, Tabby Cholin, back here again with another video. CEO, Cal Team Entertainment, this rapper on YouTube, hands down, no questions asked. Proud unenforcer. <laughs> unenforcer. Unofficial enforcer, no negative news, November. Link in the description down below. Sign a petition. It's not an order. It is an order. It's not a question. Man, look, man. Pride Month propaganda. This shit is everywhere. It's everywhere. Um. Let's talk about mayor of New York City. Eric Adams, okay? Black mayor of New York City. Now, he's a black mayor of New York City. I was watching Jason Whitlock's Fearless podcast he has going on. And I seem to have to say about it. I didn't really too much know about Eric Adams and his agenda or whatever. Because I'm not really too much to politics. So I typed in Eric Adams. Right? Simple. Black mayor. You would think that me typing in his name, he being a black mayor of New York City, there would be something about him being black. You know how, you know how CRT is. We all know how the critical race theory goes. But strangely enough, when I went to YouTube and I typed in Eric Adams, I didn't get any kind of black American propaganda with that. Right? When I typed in Eric Adams, it auto field LGBT, which automatically was like, okay, I see what's going on. And the second video says, Eric Adams vows to be the best mayor ever to the LBGTQ. Before I go on my rant, let's just take a look at what Mayor Adams plans to do about the LBGTQ community. Not that community, but the LBGTQ community. Let's check it out, man. A Pride Month NYPD patrol car greeted the hundreds who partied on the grounds of Gracie Mansion and cheered this from the mayor. Here in New York, we are happy to say we are gay. Most here agree. The Big Apple is generally a great place to be part of the LGBTQ community. We're seeing nationwide that things are changing, our community is being attacked, so it's really good to be home in New York City where we're embraced. Y'all hear that? Y'all seen that, right? First of all, the rainbow colored police cars. Eric Adams, I don't know you, brother. But I think it's time just you shut the fuck up. Aides to Mayor Adams couldn't have been happier with the big turnout at Gracie Mansion because there were some calls in the community to boycott this event. Members of Equality New York and other groups refused to attend the mayor's party and met instead at the Stonewall Inn, still upset with Adams' appointment of several past opponents of marriage equality to his administration. No apology, no I'll try to do better, no support for our community. Among these activists, there's a lingering suspicion Adams is not a true ally. Don't think that you can pink wash yourself by throwing fancy reception for all the A gays and the middle of the road uh, centrist gays. But the first openly gay New York State Senator says Adams proved his commitment by fighting for marriage equality. It's almost rude to not come to this event because he is our friend. He's maintaining and I believe will actually augment uh, what we have going for us in this city. So y'all telling me 
this black man right here, the LBGTQ mascot in New York City. He held a celebration. Did y'all see all those black folks at that celebration? There were a lot of black folks at that celebration. And I'm pretty sure not all of them agree with Pride Month and the propaganda that's going on. What the fuck is going on? What, what's, going, what's going on, people? What's really going on? He did not say one thing about him being black. He said not one thing about him being black. What are you going to do for black people? And once again, the, the Alphabet Mafia has jump-started, leapfrogged the black movement. And we're just muse, we're just stepping stones. This man just said he's gonna be the best LBGTQ mayor ever. That's his primary, not gun violence, not racial equality, not laws, not tangible things that black people can use to better their everyday life. No, his main mission is to be the best LBG. You heard they say it? They said he's an ally. He proved that because he approved gay marriage? The fuck is going on? What, what is really going on? What's really going on? Indeed, the mayor says before Pride Month ends, he'll roll out initiatives that will make NYC an even better place for the LGBTQ community. And Gracie Mansion, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. It hurt me to wake up and see my beautiful black people suffer, victimized by the oppressive harsh realities of the hood. I guess even though we were free, we were still slaves in the mind. Nasty!